TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch, we are live. By the time you see this, we won't be, so just leave a like, comment, subscribe. Turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Right behind me, you see it. A little warning screen, probably won't need it, man, but it's there just in case, man. Don't forget, we do got Patreon where we post five days a week. Um, and the people say it's worth it. I didn't say it, but the people say it. I agree, but, you know. Don't forget, man, twitch.com, usernames at the bottom of the screen, man. This is Mel Tom, London versus L.A. Hoods. Okay. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. True. Yo brother, man's in LA right now still. Head up palm trees and that. It's mad sunny as well, you know. And listen, man's gonna FaceTime you know. Yo, do you bang? Hey brother, why for that? What do you mean do I bang? That's kind of fruity still. When it comes to Romero Corinda, I've always been out the loop on what's going on. Whether that's to do with their music, their movies, and even their hood culture. Man and man would know the basics, but I don't know too much on what's going on down there. Man's not like one of these Londoners that- LA is super different though. LA gang culture is bar none. Like bar, the politics of it all is, is insane. So, not even other- States understand it so but I mean hey come on can like, try going like say they're American they need to chill out one thing that's dominant in the black culture and that is hood culture so yeah boom seeing as I'm from the ends and that that's basically the hood in London for anybody that doesn't know I'm gonna make a video about London versus LA hood culture so yeah enjoy and subscribe to my channel because I upload a lot of insights to London culture and that 40k subscribers <clears throat> what one thing I kind of know when it comes to the LA hood culture and that is you lot really do take the hand signs and the, and the flipping colors mad seriously yeah. I'm not too sure if this is going on now in it let me know in the comments. I don't think that would work in London more time. Well, the way people in LA... No, it definitely is. Heavily. You in certain neighborhoods in LA, you gotta, you gotta be careful what you wear. Uh, baseball caps, every cap means something. Um, it's just a lot going on. They do that shit. Why is my man doing up bare hand signs and that? Looking like he's doing up sign language. Yo, brother. You good, yeah? What are you saying? No, I'm just doing up gang signs and that, like. Yeah, shit. Say that, say that. Oh my days. Now, real talk, <laughs> you actually think somebody's doing up sign language if they were to just be bopping around doing up bare hand signs and that. Make sure you thumbs up today's video because obviously I don't feel it's like up. they're just walking around doing it. You know what I'm saying? Banger and that. Like all my other videos, but this one straight banger. And let me know in the comments, share yeah? Which is your favorite movie from the US and the UK? Let me know in the comments, share yeah? Say no. Right, so the first point when it comes to London versus LA hood culture and that, we have to talk about the dress code. Now in London, you're not really gonna get in trouble or be in some political beef over how you dress. Man them dress like man them, and girls dress like girls. Some of the girls dress like man them as well. But it's not that deep. You're not gonna get into a passer because you got a night tech fleece on and whatever color as well you're calm in it do you know what i'm saying i'm not gonna lie though there was a time in london if you were to bop out a jd with your fresh creps and that this can happen i finally got these new trainers and that man's gas still yo brother what are you saying nothing man. i ain't saying anything hey, wait, is that how you're feeling yeah you got new trainers and that yeah I, I, I got new trainers still I hey, what let me let me see them though i love it man i'm not trying to take them out the bag until i get home and try them hey, on. shut up fam boss me the trainers I ain't cool in it, say no more. Wait, hold on, what size? Yeah, this could happen anywhere. What are you? Man size 8, innit? What well, size 8, yeah? Yeah, that's calm still. Swing it over here, man. Hurry up. You see them kind of situations right there on the ends? Character building to blood club. But well, yeah, besides that, like, you ain't really gonna get checked because you got a certain outfit on. Now, when it comes to the LA hood culture and that and the dress code, man's heard about you lot, you know. Oh my days. Man's hearing that you can't wear certain hats. Man got bare hats, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, it's not even worth it. It's not even worth trying to figure it out though either. Like man, is it, I'm good to wear this hat. If you got hair or you got a fresh baldy, just, just that means if I was to go to LA, just go ahead, 
Rock the hair or fresh baldy. Yeah, I can't even bop around in my favorite hats. That's actually a mad thing still. Ain't these hats like baseball teams or something? How did they make that? Not to them. A political passer. How did the hood culture take that and make it a thing? I don't think them kind of antics will go down well in London. Do you know what I'm saying? I what? Man, I really like your hat still. Okay. Cool. I think this hat is neutral though. Can I like this one? This one. Win it. So why are you telling me for? What are you saying what? Well, what, what, you on this thing, yeah? I'm on what? I keep it moving, man. Get out of my face, cuz. Your hat's telling me that you rep for them man over there still. Who's them man? I don't even know what you're talking about. I listen, yeah, if I see you in that hat again, try and know that I'm gonna come back and bust your head, you understand? Yeah, yeah, cool, <laughs> innit? This ain't LA, brother. This is London. You need to relax yourself. Why are you trying to beef me over a hat? Move. Do you see what I'm saying? Do you think anybody can come up to me talking about, no, you can't wear that hat. You're not from this area. I told man. Yeah, yeah, man. It's it's heavily LA though. I don't, I don't, I can't really speak about the rest of them. I know Chicago is not like this. Doss out, cause you get me. But if I'm in LA though, man will take the hat off, cause yeah, like shit. I don't really know them sides in it, so man, I for you get me, like man, I for respect it. Do you know what I'm mm. saying? But yeah, for the longest than that, I've always heard that when it comes to LA hood culture and that, you can't really wear certain hats. Do you know what I'm saying? If you're enjoying this video, go give it a thumbs up. Helps with the algorithm. Do you get me saying that? I'm right. So anything with a P on it, anything with B on it, anything with C on it, them orange hats, them red hats, just. You know what I'm saying? Leave him at home. The next point when it comes to London versus LA hood culture and that, we have to talk about the environment. When it comes to the ends, like I'm starting with London here, innit? The ends and that. I reckon there are some people that go to the ends and they don't even know they're on the end. Some people walk past the ends and that and wouldn't even know that like, this is a mad area. Do you know what I'm saying? You can literally go to some areas that have a reputation for bad shit. And it's mad vacant. It's only when you kind of go into the Ross Clark High Road and that. Let's say like the High Street or whatever. You start seeing it for what it really is. Oh, okay, cool. There's the neaties there. There's the chicken and chip shop. There's the corner shop. Do you get me? There's the bus stop that looks like nobody stands at that bus stop. Do you know them bookie bus stops? There's scratches on it and that. But yeah, man, don't get it twisted in it. This is the thing about London. A lot of things are hidden. Like you can literally be on the ends and be like, yeah, this is a nice area still. Next minute you see 10 men, like you bust the corner and see 10 men ballied up. Now when it comes to LA hood culture and that, the contrast is a madness still. I think when you're in the hood, you just know you're in the hood, do you know what I'm saying? From the people to the graffiti on the wall, they really do take that graffiti shit mad serious, you know? There would literally be graffiti in the walls in the gang language and flipping colours and shit. The last time I done graffiti... Yeah, there's heavily graffiti in Chicago too. They be tagging sets and... Xing out stuff and doing this and doing that, but I I feel like in Florida, anywhere hot is is like if you're in a neighborhood, a regular neighborhood that's filled with gangs, like you probably couldn't even tell though because you you're like dang it's all houses over here, dang this this palm tree look amazing. Now now if you go to the greenhouses and like a like a like a like a project area, like then you know it, it's obvious. But like regular neighborhoods that are ganged out, like and and and, and I like too. I feel unless you know, like oh yeah, we're here in this area. Yeah, well, nah, this is definitely it. <laughs> He has a Londoner. I think it's harder to tell in Florida for sure. I was in my room playing GTA San Andreas cuz you know when you graffiti the walls and that. That's the only time I've done that shit. I'll keep it real fam. Oh my days. But yeah it seems that in LA they spread up the walls and that making it known this is gang Ross Clark territory. It's not like London like if you're not in the loop then you wouldn't even know you're on a dangerous block. Now don't get it twisted in it. We have graffiti and that but it's not it's not hood culture. It's not gang related, you know what I'm saying? It's literally white Donnie's doing that shit. From what I can remember about LA hood culture and that, yeah, especially the environment, I'm seeing palm trees. Palm trees, brother. When I think of palm trees and that, I'm thinking of some exotic grass club beach. I'm See, I told you. That's where the confusion be like, dang. Especially coming from this place with no palm trees. Anytime you see a palm tree, you just forget. Like, like, dang, this this might be a no-go zone, but like, it's nice. I'm not thinking about the hood, but yeah, as far as I know, there's palm trees in the hood. Imagine a Londoner going to LA for the first time and not realizing that they're in the hood because they see the palm trees and the nice weather and that. Yo, brother, man's in LA right. That's how it is, though. That's how it is for people coming that don't that don't live in these hot areas. Coming like Midwestern people going to LA, Arizona, Florida, uh, anywhere hot. You're gonna be like, oh. 
man, you gotta survey the situation. You gotta take away from that's a palm tree. But hold on now, where am I? <laughs> Now still, head of palm trees are nice. Mad sunny as well, you know. And listen, man's gonna FaceTime you. Yo, do you bang? Nah, he right on about this one. Hey, brother, why for that? What, what do you mean do I bang? That's kind of fruity still. So what? What? <laughs> are you a music producer? Why are you doing up bare sound effects and that? On the dead homies, I'll bang for my set. Yeah, I'm definitely in the hood. Brother, I would actually be mad confused, you know. Right, so the next thing about London versus LA hood culture and that, we have to speak about the woman, innit? Now listen, there are some similarities. Well, as far as I know, innit? There are some similarities when it comes to the woman in, let's just say America and um, London or the UK, do you get me? Now the thing about London and that, the thing about the UK, shit's mad hidden. If you're not in the loop, you wouldn't know shit. Bare shit could be going on in your environment and you wouldn't know because you're not involved. It's not really out there like that. There are bare chicks that live a mad lifestyle, you know. I mean like doing mad shit. But you wouldn't know because that's not their personality. The way they hide it is mad clean. Do you know what I'm saying? Nowadays it might be a bit different with some of these chicks in it because as we all can see, a lot of them take influence from Americans. Do you know what I'm saying? Proper begs. Do you get me? That whole type of the Americans and that, but let them do their thing in it. We're Londoners. You got a lot of these chicks nowadays and Oh my god, I would hate to come to the UK and and be around females that are giving me American vibes. Just I don't want it. I don't want that. Just give me all the UK, England, London vibes. Don't do nothing extra. I'm not in America for a reason. <laughs> London being proud for being outside and making it the whole flipping personalities. America's kind of been on that. They've been loud about that shit. That's why they got strip clubs and that. Imagine a strip club in London. Yo, man's going to strip club with the guys later on still. You trying to- Are there no strip clubs in London? There They're is. all through, yeah? A strip club in London. Brother, are you serious? Yeah. The strip club. The strip club in London. How is that gonna work? What are you gonna be doing? What? That shit one pound coin is that the chicks on the pole, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Hey, that's a madness though. This is a one pound coin in London. We ain't got notes. We got ten pounds. Y'all don't got one pound notes? Oh yeah, that would be difficult. We got five pound, ten pound, twenty pound, fifty pound. But that's it. I think that in America they have like one dollars and that or whatever. And one dollar bills, some two dollar bills. It's literally a no. So it makes sense to make it rain on a bitch, but we got coins. Do you get me? It's not practical. Right, so when it comes to London versus right. LA hood culture and that, we have to speak about the people on the whole, innit? In London, a lot of people come from the ends, innit? They've lived on the ends, even if they're... Yeah, I'm not throwing five, down, that five pound notes. That's... Five dollars is too much. Still there, but they kind of grow out of that mentality. Don't get it twisted, though. They I remember I went to the strip club, like, one of the first two times I came to Miami. It's a place called Eleven. This is not a free promo, but I will mention it. It's not the same as it was before when I was coming. First of all, it's open 24 hours. There's no lights in there. I mean, I'm not fault. There's no uh, windows, so you don't know what time it is uh, or anything. Like, in, in the, the, they sell liquor the entire time. So, so just imagine you in there drunk. You walk, I, I went in there at like 2 a.m. No, no, I'm tweaking. I went in there like 11 p.m. And I was having a good time. I ain't gonna lie, I threw about three bands in there. <laughs> and, and when I left... Like, right before, as I was leaving, somebody was popping a bottle, bottle service, popping a bottle. I walk outside. The sun is out. Birds are chirping. It's, I look at my phone, it's 8 a.m. I'm, I couldn't believe it. I was in such shock. <laughs> You can go straight back. I told you time and time again, could you please not wear your hat in the office? Hey, listen. I don't give a shit if you're the manager, do you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying this again. I'm not taking off my hat for shit. This hat in Chicago definitely gets you shot in the wrong neighborhood. But I will say, like, we don't really do hats, but this brand, Trap Star, you couldn't wear it in a lot of places in Chicago. That's why I don't wear it. I'm not a fan of Trap Star. No offense. What does that do? How does that affect how I work? Shut up, man. Oh, attitude. It's too disrespectful. Do you want the sack, yeah? May I please go back to my desk? <laughs> yeah, shit, I think we've all been there still.
But when it comes to LA and that, it seems like it's mad different. It's coming like them man there, their whole family tree literally started in the hood. It's like they don't come from anywhere else but the hood. You ask them about their great great grandparents and that, yeah, they're from the hood. They're from LA. Do you think my great grandparents are from London? Them man were around donkeys and that in Jamaica and shit. Them LA dons and that though, they won't pet to toe. Yeah, let me tell you the difference. Um, a lot of us, a lot, <laughs> a lot of black people here, great, 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 great grandparents were slaves. They were brought here against their free will and they weren't given reparations to go build and, and have more. They were just get, set free and there you go. Figure it out. So yeah, grandparents, 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 they get like that. I think my great, great, great grandma was a slave. So it's like, Oh, you where they're from. I reckon that if you walk down the streets of LA right now and you bump into an old greyback Donny or even like a grandma, they're gonna be talking some shit like this. I've lived all my life. Like such a slave where like they married Native Americans. That's how I'm part Native American. Like. <laughs> The hood's all I know. My granddad lives over there. He runs the set. And now my sisters live over there. They bang for the set as well. I bang for the set. This is a way of life. My mum bangs for the set. My grandma bangs for the set. I've got second cousins, god cousins. I will say in LA, that it's an, a lot of gang culture though. It's passed down for family generations. They bang for the set. I got family members that are white. They bang for the set. My great great granddad bangs for the set. My ancestors, you know, the ones before slavery and them, bang for the set. I even got unborn youths that bang for the set. You see these tattoos? This is because I bang for the set. It's coming like family means a lot to them LA Don still. Like they got mad family ties over there. If you made it this far into the video and that, then you're a real one still. Hold tight everybody from LA and that and London, do you know what I'm saying? Those are just a few differences when it comes to the hood culture and shit. We say the ends, that's basically the hood in London, do you get me? If you don't enjoy this video, go do Chicago. I already left a like. It's a good video. I was, I was entertained. Till I leave a like, comment, subscribe and go.